Hi, I was going to do a quick word recognition lesson to show how to use these books. Um, this is lesson 51. I just had to be open to it. I thought I would do this one. All the word recognition lessons have three columns, A, B, and C. The new words for the lesson always have this in front of it. So you and the student both know it's a new word for this lesson. This lesson is going to teach the word is. Every lesson line has a number. And it starts at 1, 2, 3, all the way down to 15. If a student misses a line, this is the line number that you put into the student logbook. You're going to use your reader so they only see one line at a time. If your student is advanced and has completed the program and you're doing this for review, I would recommend not using the reader, but that's a whole different issue. Okay, the directions for the adult, and I think very smart students would catch on. An asterisk means the student is supposed to say the word. If there's no asterisk, they just have to touch it. The directions for the adult are over here. Uh, asterisk, the, per the kid says it, you need to say it. Call 3A. A means you want them to touch column A. Touch with. 4C, you want them to tell them to touch C. Touch apple, because this is column C. So let me go through an example. I'll put this down, and your students get really automated. They don't need very much prompting after a couple lessons. So read, and they just know. What's this word? Touch with. Touch apple. What's the word? What's the word? New word. I don't wait because it's a new word. The student's not going to know it. The new word is is. Now, sometimes we'll just flip this around. Touch is. Touch is. Touch is. And you see they've changed the column. They made a capital letter. What's the word? Asterisk. What's this word? This is the distractor. Touch apple, another distractor. Touch is, that's the teaching word. Okay, this lesson has two pages. You can tell because on here this says le uh, lesson 23, we're recognition 23. Flip it over to finish the lesson. Okay, what's this word with the capital letter? What's this word? What's this word? These are previous words they've been taught already and should have mastered. Touch is. Touch is, capital letter this time. Read, what's the word? Okay, read, read, read. Good job, and that's the end of the lesson. You keep track of where they had a mistake, and you write it in your logbook, and you follow the directions. I'm sure there's a little more on the corrective procedure in here, but I didn't want to get into that in this lesson. I hope you found this helpful, and have a great day.